and welcome back to another video a few comments i've had about this house so far tells me people like the design of the porch so in today's video let's talk about the porch first of all the purpose of the porch is to sit outside relax enjoy the views around as well as enjoy some fresh air and also to receive guests who would prefer to sit outside instead of you know going inside now the porch happens to be one of my favorite spots in the entire house let's get into the details of it first of all the size of the porch is 10 feet by 6 feet and it has an arch design on top of it we use design blocks as part of the build instead of balustrade and the reason is because design blocks are more solid as well as due to the concrete cast on top you have a larger surface area where you can place items or even sit on top we purchased 30 pieces of the design blocks of which one did cost about eight cities so the total was around 240 cities but we used a total quantity of 28 only for the porch after laying of the design blocks we tied and placed some iron rods on top secured by wood and cast concrete on top after which the surface of the concrete was made very smooth now the purpose of the iron rod was to make the concrete very solid as part of scheming the inner walls of the entire house, we also scheme the walls of the porch. The ceiling is made of plasterboard, that is one and quarter pieces that was used for that. And then we also have a LED light fixed in it. So at the porch, we also fixed a meter board, making allocation for the national grid, just in case we would want to connect to the national grid. It will be easier to do so. For the floor, we use the same tiles that was used inside the house. That is the 60 by 60 centimeters gray Italian tiles I got from West African Hardware and Decor. Same was used for the stairs at the entrance of the house. The entrance way is 40 inches wide, of which we've created a metal gate for. Right in front of the porch, we also created a flower bed where we can plant some flowers. Maybe do a small rock garden. You know, yeah, I'm open to ideas. So if you've got any, you can share with me. Also, at the entrance, we decided to spread uh, some of the stones that was left from the entire build. And I'll get more into the details of this in a different video. At the porch, we also have installed double sockets, which is controlled from the hall. So as I've made mention of this in a different video, the idea is not to have the power always on. You only turn it on once you want to use it. So that you don't have you know people stealing power or even using your own power against you so that is the purpose for the socket um, or how to go about the socket in the porch i'm also hoping to have the porch painted soon so still deciding on the colors to use so in case you've got some ideas you can kindly share with me and i'll do all to choose from one once the porch is completed that is having it painted and everything we are hoping to place a chair there Maybe a sofa made from pallet. Here are some ideas I'm looking at on your screen. So yeah, just let me know your thoughts about them and I'll see which one will be best to go with. The porch has really come a long way before getting to this particular point of it. This is how it used to be some time back. Uh, not really knowing what it was going to look like, you know, once everything is done. But I must say I am really, really impressed on how far it has come. So. That will basically be about it for this video. Let me know your thoughts about the porch, what we can do to, you know, spice up the whole space and, and many more. So thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime I have a new video, you get to see it too. Once again, my name is Eshman Lamte and I'll see you in the next one.